lust, passion, and libido. No, we're not in the meatpacking district. For this week's hot pick, we're checking out the Museum of Sex's new aphrodisiac cafe with a slew of stimulating potions and elixirs on the menu. This isn't a cafe that you're gonna find in Borders or necessarily in Barnes and Nobles. Hidden away like a dirty little secret below the Museum of Sex's gift shop is the brand new Oral Fix Aphrodisiac Cafe, described by their creative director as a mixture of science and folklore. The cafe is created out of studying about 3,000 years of human traditions. And what we're doing with the menu is we're taking you know, some of these really well-known ingredients, rose, pomegranate, and creating mixtures with some things more from you know, Chinese traditional medicine. The food design company Fork and Design created the elixirs by pairing natural ingredients that reputedly have sensual side effects. A lot of times they're considered to be a natural form of Viagra. We sampled the potion for stimulation. Topped with coconut sea salt, the drink mixed coffee, chili, and vanilla, and was sweetened and topped off with some sexy seltzer. My favorite drink, I think, is our for fertility, which is a mixture of mango and pomegranate. We add some crystallized violet to it. Many of the inspirational potions were inspired by traditional folk tales and culture. One of our drinks, one that inspires love, is a mixture of, you know, rose. And rose was really important to the ancient Romans because during the Bacchilean orgies, women would adorn their hair with roses, they would rub rose water all over themselves. So when people come to Oral Fix Cafe, they can also choose to mix their own elixirs with the ingredients listed here and um, the, the effect that they have. So if you wanted, I guess you could mix a, a rejuvenating, tempting, stimulation libido drink, which sounds like a Katy Perry song, in the best way possible. The Oral Fix Aphrodisiac Cafe can be rented out for everything from bachelorette parties to academic conferences. But unfortunately, you'll have to go somewhere else to rent a room. Luckily, you can take your drink on the go. For NYPost.com, this is Will Poulos.